Welcome back one and all, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Neverwinter Nights 2 where we left off last time. We, did, we just entered this hallway, there is a bunch of undead to kill. I actually just wandered forward by accident and then there were enemies everywhere so we're here. Just killing them. As you may recall we killed Iron Golem, we gained a level, our last Red Dragon Disciple level. Actually next, uh, next level we're going to be taking Frenzied Berserker. I know it seems like we're more of a blaggard type character, but uh, for the later expansions we're going to want extra damage way more than we're going to need any of the uh, blaggard's abilities, or blackguard depending on how you want to pronounce it. Technically it's both blaggard. And yeah, we're going to go with Frenzy Berserker though. It's going to be good times. They do a lot of damage. There's a... Wraith in that room. Let's go unwraithify the Wraith. Hello, Wraith. You're an undead killing machine. Do something. Oh, that worked out well. Okay. Ow. A blue diamond. Some Wraith residue. Go into Foot Locker. And there are some remains here, including a Courtesan Blade Dagger. Spirit, what are you doing? Oh, good. Now you're going to the room. It's a clear path. She should head to the tree, hopefully. Let's get rid of the lights. The tree is up and over there. We need all of the spirits to get there at some point, but we'll deal with that later. There are more ghasts to kill first. Also, we're making pretty good experience in here, all things considered. How are you constantly diseased? Yes. Make your path mine. You don't have any healing spells left. Oh, she has level 8 spells now. We should probably give her some. Um, we're gonna give her... Firestorm. And... Earthquake. Yeah. Enemies nearby. Can't rest here. We must have to wander back a bit. Oops. Didn't mean to pause. Let me rest. Let me rest. There we go. Her fort save must be abysmally bad. Me, Grab it's a 12. Let's head out. I, I mean, so. it's not my 15, but still. It's 12. 12 is a good fort save for our level. Well, it's not great, but it's not bad. It's certainly not the worst fort save in the world. I think the worst fort save in the world would probably go to sand, in all honesty. Oh, spirit. I can smell you, plunderer. I can taste your steel and hear the rustle of the hundreds you've slain, swirling and fading in your wake. At least hundreds. Can you see me as well? That I can't. My eyes he took. My eyes and my name, my future and my past. Names? You won't find names in this place, plunderer. Only questions. He's drained us all of names just like we took his. Surely you must have a name. What is a name when its meaning is lost? It is nothing but a word. A word on a crumbling page, referring to other words on other crumbling pages, all signifying nothing. Tell me, plunderer. Have you asked yourself the question yet? Have you seen past the ramblings of priests, past the sobs and sighs of broken minds, and spied the real conundrum? 
That which the Guardian was created to protect, he ultimately destroyed. Yes. Think of him. The perfect protector. They stripped him of his name so he had no pride. They stripped him of his self so he had no ambition. His purpose was as pure as it was simple. To protect his nation and destroy its enemies. He wasn't flawed, he was perfect. Yet still, he was our doom. He destroyed you because the Shadow Weave corrupted him. No, that isn't the reason at all. The Guardian turned to the Shadow Weave to further his purpose, only to keep himself alive that he might protect his nation. There's a dirty little secret, one the others won't tell you. We struck first. We never bothered to learn the Guardian's intentions. What were his intentions? Who can say? The blood-drunk elf girl swooped in before we could ask, before we could think. Yes, the Guardian's nature had changed, but what did that mean? What did he want? Revenge? Did he want his life back? Did he simply want to feed? We didn't even try to find out. As for me, I don't think his motives had changed at all. Nor have they ever. You think he's still trying to defend Ilfarn? Perhaps. Or, lacking an Ilfarn to defend, he is simply trying to destroy her enemies, wherever he perceives them to be. That's an interesting perspective, but I need you to come with me. Or perhaps it is merely the ramblings of a shattered and nameless mind. Make of it what you will. For my part, I will follow you and say no more. He is the most introspective one that we've met so far. Did they shoot spells at the walls? Because that's weird. Don't blow up the chest, it has things in it. Yes. You. Maybe you won't blow up things if I use you properly. Oh, that was unappealing. Oh, we're full. Something you want? Yeah, go loot this thing for me. I'll figure out loot later. I believe so. There's too many scrolls in this game, damn it. They take up all the room. Hello? Do I live? No, you don't. I thought not. You know why? No pain. Never fought a battle and came out feeling, well, feeling like this. Like nothing. What battle? The last battle, when all that remained of Ilfarn went out to meet the Guardian. They say we won, walled him up in some plane of shadow. But I don't call that a victory. Victory is when I swing my axe and split my foreman's skull. That was no victory, even for the worm. A worm fought for the King of Shadows? Of course not. The worm was on our side. A right hero he was. Wizards called him up from, well, from somewhere. Said he'd come to put an end to the Guardian. Good thing we had him too. He fought even tougher than he looked. Managed to distract the Guardian while the wizards did their work. Ended bad for him though. What happened to the Wyrm? The Guardian did for him, like he did for all of us. We saw him fall, just dropped out of the sky, all shining like he was carved from diamond. The wizards weren't ready yet, so they sent us in next. Last I remember, the whole host of Dardath was marching forward, me and a few others at their head. Then, all around us, these little shadows, they were everywhere. Hundreds of them, and one of them, he, 
He was just there, in front of me, all of a sudden, so close, so close, and he reaches for me, and... And you ended up here. Not at first. I think I would have gone with the others. I could feel them, you know. Feel them drifting off, going somewhere. But not me. I made an oath. What did you swear? It was before the battle. Swore I wouldn't come home till the Guardian was slain. We all said the words, but I meant them. Did your people win the battle? They beat him, those wizards did. They trapped the Guardian. I don't know how I know that, but I know. I need your help. I mean to fight the King of Shadows. I whatever you need. Thunderbelly's your dwarf. Thank you, Thunderbelly. It's not a great name, but, you know, it's yours. One day we'll have loot room again. Maybe we should avoid picking up scrolls from now on. The Hammer of the Lost Empire is plus two strength, plus three, and regeneration plus one. And the other thing we put away was the Courtesan Blade, and it is a... Keen Dagger plus two. We already looked at the site earlier. So much junk. We should also really do some of our group equipment again eventually here. Bruind family armor and obsidian. Let's check out the family armor first of all. Plus one, immunity to mind affecting spells, and it does metal. Its metal is iron, and it has acid and fire resistance. It's not bad armor, but we're not going to use it. No one in our group is, actually. Pretty sure our cleric has better armor. I think that's all of the spirits, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it? Okay, let's walk with this guy. Let's see if he gets there. I'm actually curious to see if he makes it to the tree or what happens. We haven't followed any of the other ones. Oh, we have to guide them to the tree. Where's the tree? Okay, let's close off this one. And let's... Well, we can take him this way, but it's a longer way, so let's close off this one too. Something you want? Well, no. What do you want? Is there one on this side I should close? Maybe not. That made this way more annoying. All right, let's see where he goes. No, yeah, that's fine. Go on. Now we have to remember where all the spirits are and then guide them all back. No, wrong way. Oh, this is one of the most annoying puzzle things in the entire world. Now go the correct way. Is that going to take him to the right place? No, that's the wrong way. Shoot. Actually, while you're both here, I can send you both the right way.
Is there any other spirits down here I should gather up before locking them off? Yes. Where are you ending up if I move you on? Okay, I do not want you to go this way. But there's another spirit in here that I want to move out as well. So I don't want the spirit to go this way. We can gather up four of them at once. That at least help us out a little bit. Although I figured that they would know the way to the stupid tree. Go. This song reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy VII. are going this way. Go together. Go in pairs. It's not safe to go alone. No, you keep going that way. One, two, three, four. Perfect. You guys are all good. We locked them off from that side. So one, two, three, four. And then we got to find the last two because I don't remember where I left them. <laughs> You know what? You all four can stay there. You all... Wow. I'm turning into a southerner. Even though I live very, very far north. <laughs> Y'all can stay there. Let's go find the last two spirits that we missed. There wasn't one in that room. I know that. There's one. Um... You go that way. So there's number five. Now, where did I leave number six? Don't need her wandering back down this way. Go north. And then we just need to find the last one and we'll be set. Unless the last one's already there. And the last one is the first one. He might already be at the tree. We'll quickly check the tree area to make sure that we don't have any more. See if he's already there. If he is already there, we're set. But it does not look like he's there. We have to go find the last ghost. We have five of them. Five out of six isn't bad, but it's not what we need. Okay, uh, let's go this way first. None in there. That was where a wraith was. We got this one. It might be this one. Yep. Okay. So if I hit you, where are you going to go? Well, I'll follow you, and we'll make sure you get to the right place. Okay. We do want him to go through there. I don't think he'll go... Oh, maybe he will go that way. Nope, he went the right way. Good. Okay, let's move him... This way. 
Or can we go that way? That way is probably faster. Okay, so we'll turn on this light. And go. Oh, did I turn this one on by accident? Yes, I did. I fail at life. There we go. He had nowhere to go. That's why he wasn't moving. So he's going to get up to this hallway. We need to turn off this light. Move him in. Turn on this light and then check to make sure the other side is also on. Once it's on, they only have one direction to go. And that is into the tree, hopefully. Go, 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 go. In ancient times, the Guardian was created to protect the Ophine. If the time has come to dismantle our great instrument, you will be an agent of its destruction. Take this blessing of communion. May its soothing light comfort you on your travels. Thank you. The third part of the ritual is complete. Focus your will upon the statue. With my know mind. that though the King of Shadows may wound you countless times, you have the power to undo the damage he does to you, or to others. We got Soothing Light, which counts regeneration and removes negative levels. Fancy. Alright. Cool. So we are officially done this area now. We only have two more statues to go. This is one of the longer parts of the game. But it is a pretty cool part. It is pretty integral to the storyline. And it's uh, it's actually quite interesting. So that is going to be the end of our video. We're going to leave it off here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others, I'll see you guys next time. We will be going into the next area, which I believe we're going to do the Temple of Seasons next. Or possibly the Song Portal. Those will be the last two we have to do. So take care, everyone. Have a wonderful night. And I'll see you next time.